Ken Bader here with a video follow-up to our latest tip. How do you introduce humor into the workplace? And you might be wondering, why am I wearing a cap today, especially one that says grumpy on it? Well, this is an example of how I introduced a little humor into the workplace many years ago when my staff wanted to dress up as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for Halloween. And I said, well, I'll be grumpy. And I fought him on it for a while, but eventually brought in this cap. And uh, we did dress up in uh, the workplace and had a lot of fun with it and had a lot of laughs. But also kept this hat in my office to uh, make sure when I was having an off day, per se, to uh, put it on or to uh, put it on my desk to kind of in a funny way, warn them that it probably wasn't my best day. But the point that I tried to make in the tip and the point that I continually try to make is, is find the right way to ingrain humor into your workplace. And I know every culture, and I do truly mean every culture, is different. So for, for many, this is kind of light and, and uh, would be appropriate. For some, it might not be. So you just find another way. But I encourage you to, to look at your brand and your culture and see what's the humor that you can introduce with your staff and your employees. Because there's been many studies, as I mentioned in the tips, that humor really does pr improve morale. And more importantly, if you have improved morale, you have improved productivity. So here's to finding the brand of humor for your workplace. If you need a little help with your staff morale or need help with your culture, your brand, we can certainly help. So please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Ken Bader, and I can best be reached at 630-854-6380 or via email at kbaterbator at btcinc.net. Have a great day.